Today, we've got PSU, one of my favorites. Just of PSU is basically, it's a high temperature aromatic sulfone polymer. And if, you know, that's obvious. And it's in the similar family as the polyphenol sulfone, but it's actually different. Uh, this is just polysulfone, so there's not that, that phenyl part of the molecule and... Um, science stuff. Science but what's stuff. important is that this stuff is, looks great very easy to print, and has great thermal and chemical resistance. Yeah, very, very strong. It's very hard. When you hear that modulus, it's like... And when it's Whoa. hot, it sounds different when you drop. It sounds like glass. Yeah, yeah. This particular piece is used in a high-end coffee maker to drip the steamed water over the grinds. So it can handle that. It can be autoclaved, it can be sterilized. Uh, it is food safe. Uh, it's a very, very cool polymer. Not very many people use it yet. Actually, very people, very few people know that it can be 3D printed, and that it's actually one of the easier high temp materials. I love to using print, it. Right? You can print it with huge layer lines and huge layers. It doesn't bother it. Right. Very transparent. Not much color in it. Um, Cole loves playing with with transparency. Transparent yeah. filaments. I should do a video on that. How to print clear. I guess we should go over what makes this unique and why you should consider it. So some of the yeah. some of the main properties of this stuff that make it worth your time is that it has excellent hydrolytic resistance. Right. What is hydrolytic resistance? It basically means it won't absorb water. Oh, that's really nice for high temp right. filaments, trust me. Right, exactly. As Rob said earlier, sterilizable, sterilization suitable. So yeah. you can autoclave it or, or yeah. Boil it. You can't boil it, can you? If you put it in something with super hot water to sterilize everything, it's not going to melt yeah, down. Yeah, you can. It's gonna Absolutely, survive. you can. Um, it's an excellent alternative to Ultim 9085. If you don't need the aerospace certifications, it's actually cheaper. Uh, it's very comparable in overall strength and toughness. Uh, it does have a higher TG and HDT, so a glass transition and a heat deflection temperature, than Ultim 9085. Um, but, like say, it's not nearly as well known. It hasn't been 3D printed for very long, so... You can anneal it, too. Yes. So, I don't know where that actually gets you yep. in terms of strength in comparison to mm -hmm. the uh, crazier materials, but right. we should test that. It's a little bit lower density um, than Ultima 985, so you'll get, you get a lighter part in the same geometry. Um, in the real world, where might you see this used outside of just 3D printing? Uh, so, hot, um, caustic, Liquids or or I gases. I'm thinking a car. Under yep. the hood. Yep. Brake line. Brake. Yep. Dot. Where is it? Dot three. Brake fluid. Brake fluid. It, um, steam. Anything. You can literally print appropriate parts for your car. I watched all these videos yesterday about these guys who were doing their own turbo in a car. I just found a turbo, put it in a car. It was really interesting. I love that kind of stuff. And I couldn't help it. So much of it was fabricating, bending metal, this and that, and it was, they had a 3D printer it could, you know, solve so many of their problems. Right. I think the issue is that not many people Probably know even, about it. Even for the tooling that they were bending the metal with, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, custom forms. Polysulfones are a family of high performance thermoplastics. These polymers are known uh, for their toughness and their stability at high temperatures. Due to the high cost of raw materials and processing, polysulfones are used in specialty applications and are often a superior replacement for polycarbonate. Oh. Right, so if you need something superior. stronger than polycarbonate, uh, polysulfone is gonna be your next step. What I was reading about that's really great, gamma radiation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Resistance, this stuff is like, Superhero stuff. I mean, right. it can resist radiation. Yeah. Gamma radiation. Where, where do you see gamma radiation? Space. Yes. Space. MRI, MRI machines. I want to say. I feel like a lot in the medical field. A lot in the medical field. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, it does have a V zero flame resistance rating, so that's also very good. Tongs do it. Flame resistance V zero. All right. What is V zero? Let's see what V zero means when it comes to flame resistance. I'll take this bitchy. What do you think? Top or bottom? Just hit the whole side of it from a distance. We'll give it, what, two seconds? I don't know. One. Two. A little smoke went away quickly. All right. Out. Out. Self-extinguishing. A little um, bit charred. That might just be some... It didn't break. Overhang. I just lost Droopiness. it. 
Is it? You can definitely smell it. You know, it's not, it's not even that hot. Oh, will it sound different? Yeah, it's they got all that hot, them. yeah. That'd be, yeah. Oh, it does, yeah, it is it's hot. It's got that higher pitch tinniness. All right, all Looks right. cool. Yeah, it looks like it went through a battle. This is the battle benchy. Peck and Peak will be able to withstand longer times with that temperature, but that took put itself out immediately. Yeah. Um, get rid of the stringing too. Get rid of the stringing too. That's why it's <laughs> it's safe. Now we'll test the gamma radiation. All right. No, we won't. We'll put it in the microwave. <laughs> oh, um, wait. Is that gamma? I have, no. I have uh, no idea. Have, you're going to be printing this around 350 to 380 on the nozzle, uh, 380 Celsius. Uh, 140 to 160 on the bed usually does the trick. You do want a heated chamber. This stuff still warps like most other high temp. Uh, polymers, especially in the sulfone family. PPSU is crazy. We'll talk about that soon. It prints like a fancy comp complex PETG because if it's not dry and th this is the natural color, um, it's not hard to get stringing. It's also not hard to not have stringing if you uh, make sure the filament's well taken care of and you're not printing too yeah. fast or too slow. Pretty intermediate level um, in terms yeah. of complexity for printing, but the results are beautiful and the, res the results you get from the amount of effort you put in is huge yeah. because it's an impressive material. Is it easier than Ultim's? Or yeah. So it is easier than Ultim's, yeah. but it's harder than... I don't notice it wanting to pull up and stick. Wherever you put it, it, it just flows there happily. It's not oozy, it's not gooey like you sometimes see with Peak. Right. Um, and it doesn't want to tear itself apart like Ultim. If you're gonna use Ultim, if you're gonna use Peak or something, check out Polysulfone. It probably, it, it'll probably work for a lot of those applications out there. How much Chemical is it? Chemical resistance. Uh, it's about 150 bucks a kilogram. So it is cheaper than Ultim, which is about 100 bucks for 500 grams, so 200 a kilogram. Uh, that's 1010. 9085 is about uh, 250 kilo. Bottom line is, Impressive. it prints well. You're gonna need to push your printer. You know, 380 is the hottest it'll have to go on the nozzle. 160 on the bed is good. Um, it behaves well. It has good accuracy uh, as long as you take care of the filament. It's not very expensive yeah. and it has excellent radiation and flame resistance. It puts itself out. It can be annealed. It's It's a Excellent, not very well known, newer in the 3D printing world material. You should buy some and try it. I think Definitely. you'll be happy. We supply 3D X Tech on our website. Definitely go check it out. So if you need strong parts, you don't want to break the bank, you got a high temp printer, check out Polysulfone. Very, very cool stuff. Great material. Anyway. Great yeah, looking material it, too. If you guys got any questions, um, hit us up in the comments down below. We love reading your comments. We love answering questions. You know, give us a call, shoot us an email. We're here to help, whatever it is you're doing. But yeah, we're here to help. Let us know. Thanks guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. Have a great one. See you on the next.